Yes, fellow fishy friends, welcome to Big Fish Lad, and my name's Paul. So, today, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the last piece in the jigsaw as such, and show you my new fish and my new tank that I was talking about that I'm going to put in the living room. Um, so this tank is a bit different to the, one, the ones that I've got in my fish room, so it's a different style tank, and I've, I've actually gone for a more natural look as opposed to daft terracotta pots, things like that. So, obviously just to recap a little bit, you know what the plan was, the plan was to change all my fish to Central Americans, to either have one fish in the tank or a pair, or two fish or three fish that works, and that was the final sort of like idea. So now I'm there, I'm actually there, there'll be no more fish coming into my fish room, and I have my collection. So, I did say on the last video that I was gonna put a dovi in there, but I'll be honest with you, I bottled it. It's not actually that I bottled it, it's just because I need to be sure, I need to be sure on timings around moving and stuff like that. So, I'll get one when I move. That was my final decision, so, I've been in talks with a guy that I know um, about, it was about for a pair, a pair of fish. Um, I'm just gonna give you a bit of a sort of like disclaimer type thing before we go into the video. I bought the pair of fish off him. Um, he, brought the, he brought the pair over to me. I put them in the tank and I was very, very aware that this was new surroundings and I knew that the male would be a lot worse and trying to find this, um, his new territory out so I put I think it was something like six hides in there and I, and I watched it all day hiding in these hides um, and I woke up the next day and he killed her so you know I think in hindsight and hindsight's a great thing I should have put a divider in and I didn't put a divider in because I was sure I was sure that she had somewhere to hide and I'd watched her for a whole day hiding so and getting away from him so I was so shocked the next morning and upset and I made a big error and I wasn't very happy I've been I've been really angry at myself for most of the week and I wasn't happy and and it's happened and I know that I have to move on from it but I wasn't happy with myself and it's definitely definitely a lesson learned to put a divider in and I could have gone with a hole in the divider so I feel as though I got that wrong and that's on me but I have to move on from it. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way and I wanted to be open and honest with you guys on that and it happens and I was, I went to bed 99.9% .9 sure it would be okay. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the new fish now. So, I'm just gonna show, I'll pan you around, I'll show you and I'll talk you through what, why I got them and what I've got, so. So firstly, this is the new tank. So it's very different to the tanks I've talked about in my fish room. So obviously I have the white dual tanks in my fish room. But with this being in our living room, my partner wanted something a little bit nicer, more of a custom build, I suppose. So I bought this from my local garden centre. Um, they, delivered, they delivered it over a week ago. And it's beautiful. I must admit, it's a bit, you know, the, the dual tanks are fantastic. But these just, this just wood finish is unbelievable, it's beautiful. And then what I've decided to do is obviously more of a natural scape, but let me show you the fish. So, it's in, it, as you can see already and you'll have guessed, it's a Midas. So it's a yellowy, orangey, piebald Midas. And if you'll see, there's some of his young in there, so three of his young came with him. Um, and for now we'll keep them in there with him because he's okay with them. Um, he's a stunning, stunning fish. He's a killer, but he's a stunning, stunning fish. Um, as you can see, very, very different, very, very different hardscape than what I have in my other tank. So, big pieces of bog wood, couple of big, huge pieces of bog wood. Rocks on the black gravel and the black background. He's a very, very good quality Midas. So he's Ampholophus citronellus, true Midas, and he is a true Midas. I know of his origin. I know where he was imported from, and he's a true Midas, and he's an absolutely stunner. Um, beautiful nuchal hump on him and he's getting a bit, he's still getting used to his surroundings you know, like you see there, coming the camera, he's not used to that so he goes and hides behind the wood um, and yeah, that is 
the, the way I've decided. So I'm pretty happy with what I've done, you know, pretty happy with the way I've done it, because it's not something that I usually do. I've decided to go with the Aqua One Aqueous 1250 in external filler and the APS internal filler. It's a 400 litre, so it's five foot long by 18 inches wide by 24 inches high and I've just got an LED light on it so that's what I've gone with. It's quite simple but I'm quite happy with how it looks. Like I said it's in the living room so I have to give it a bit of thought to how it looked. But yeah it's get the fish is, he is getting more con but you see I went near then and he swam behind, behind the uh, woods so he's still getting used to us and obviously it'll be interesting to see how them young grow and you know what, touch wood, touch wood that they grow out and he allows them to grow out and, and everything's fine and we can have a couple of we can have a like, couple more Midas to grow out with him um, but yeah, so I'm not going to get rid of him just because the female's not with him anymore that's my bad, stupid error on my part but yeah, we'll keep him and, and he'll stay in this tank and I know it's quite a big tank but these guys can grow to 14 inches so, you know, it's more likely to get between 10 and 12 but and I reckon he's about eight now, so you know this tank's more than enough for him. Uh, and I think actually, the yellow—I say yellow, but it's like a yellowy, orangey colour—goes really nice with the black substrate and the black background. Tell me what you think, guys, on that because I think I really like that. Sorry about that glare. My, my main light's not working, so I've, I've got a lamp on because I need that extra light, and it's just bugging me because that glare is doing my head in. But yeah, so. That's the new tank. What do you think, guys? You know, like I say, you're not used to having that with me. So it, and, and you know what? It's a very, very good sort of like feeling to get a custom built tank that's built right. <laughs> so that's really good. But yeah, that's my new fish, new tank. And like I said to you guys, it's finished. I've got all my fish. Now, if you remember, I said I was getting some Trimax. Well, they came today. But I'll wait and show you them next time. But yeah, this is this is it now, guys. I can I'll be able to in a couple of weeks do your full fish room tour. All I need now is one tank to be replaced. So I've not done too bad in the last few weeks. But I'm really happy with that, guys. And you know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the new tank and the new setup and stuff and, and that kind of thing. And yeah, leave it in the comments. So guys. That's this week's video. I'm going to leave, love you and leave you. Do us a favour. If you've watched the video and you like it, press the subscribe button, click the bell and like and comment. And I'll see you on the next video.